This training video will cover the Panasonic CF31 mobile data computer, including its physical components and desktop icons. A PowerPoint is also available on our website, www.warrencountytelecom.com, under the Training Data Systems tab. The CF31 is a heavy-duty laptop, better known as a tough book with touchscreen and integrated stylus. MDC stands for Mobile Data Computer, ruggedized to withstand the elements our public safety agencies encounter. The most popular uses for an MDC are communicating with coworkers and other agencies via chat or email, engaging with Vision Tech Frontline to interact with dispatched calls, referencing the emergency response guidebook, visiting internet sites such as central resources and the portal, and viewing maps. Looking at the closed 31, you notice a stylus tucked into the left end of the carrying handle. This can be used in lieu of your finger on the touchscreen and great for capturing signatures. To the right is a power slider. Slide the switch to the right until the power indicator lights up, then release. Do not force the MDC to power down by sliding the power switch. This can cause hardware and software failures. Use the start menu from your desktop to shut down or restart your machine. Turning to the right are six enclosures that should remain covered when not in use. They include slots for the hard disk drive, HDMI and SIM cards, LAN ports, USB ports, and the power cord. On the back side, there is a small slider window which reveals the external antenna connector and the docking station port. Open the entire back panel and you'll see USB ports, microphone and headphone jacks, expansion bus connector, and a serial port. On the left side is the battery pack, which you should not remove unless for service, and a multimedia pocket for express cards, PC card, your Wi-Fi switch, and an SD card reader. Once you open the MDC, you will see lights and indicators. The left light tells you if your battery is charging, ready to die, or fully charged. The right light will be green if the MDC is powered up. Below the touchpad are additional lights to show SD card activity, power status, caps lock, num lock, scroll lock, if your hard disk drive is being accessed, and if your multimedia pocket is in use. Moving on to the desktop is a streamlined selection of programs used by public safety agencies. This includes a calendar, which is movable and interactive, and a troubleshooting diagnostic box, which is helpful when getting help from data systems. From the startup menu is the option to CAD unit change, useful in times of area command for the fire service. With a pop-out button is a tool to capture signatures and handwriting. In the lower right taskbar, you'll find the following icons. Shavlik Patch Management, a tool used by telecom to push security patches. You will not interact with this. Symantec Antivirus. This receives scheduled updates to keep your MDC safe from viruses and security risks. You can click Live Update to manually receive the latest security. NetMotion lets you see if you're connected to a wireless network indicated by green signals. You can also compare the sent bytes and received bytes to see if packets are being transmitted. The Intel ProSet wireless icon is going away sometime in 2016 and will be replaced by the default Windows Connection Manager. There's a standard battery indicator, the Safely Remove Hardware button, and you can right-click the clock to edit it or the calendar. Moving to the desktop, you have the standard computer icon to access storage drives, including your USB stick, a formula calculator including drag faster or skid to stop. Frontline is the main software you'll use to interact with dispatched incidents or message chat with other agencies and units. Check our website or YouTube channel for a two-part video series on Frontline covering the quick keys and the CAD forms. Telecom is in the design process of a new CAD software with TriTech set to go live in fall of 2017, replacing Frontline, so look for updated training videos. OpenOffice is a free open source equivalent of Microsoft Office, offering document, presentation, and spreadsheet options. BZ Access Manager is applicable if still using an AirCard or the Verizon 4G USB stick. This manages your data connection when out of the station and away from Wi-Fi. You have a Maps menu shortcut, a screen copy if you need to screenshot your diagnostic info and send it to telecom for troubleshooting. The desktop calendar icon activates the same calendar shown on your desktop. A big calculator is a standard calculator. Central Resources is a shortcut icon to the website we maintain of law resources, fire resources, common links, codes, weather, alerts, and the portal used to access PSDs and records management. 
My Documents is the folder where screen prints and external files from USB and SD cards can be saved. Ergo 2012 is the Emergency Response Guidebook. WC Map Index is more commonly known as the Bingo Map. It is updated every spring and includes hyperlinked cells referenced by dispatchers so that you can zoom in to small regions of the county to view streets, waterways, and hydrants. Screen calibration walks you through the realignment of your touchscreen, ensuring that where you press is what's activated. And finally, function keys are all active except for F11, which is not linked to your emergency button. They control standard shortcuts such as screen brightness, volume, and keyboard backlight. This training video has covered the MDC 101 of your CF31 MDC. For more help, please contact Telecom's Help System by emailing help at wcoh.net or call us at 695-HELP following the options shown here.